Okay, NHL 22 has finally dropped their reveal trailer. Let's watch it a few times and react to it. Xbox. Hmm. Are they going to be the main console then? Frostbite, that's nice to see. Finally, about four years too late. Coverboy Austin Matthews, of course, a little toe drag shot. Dry sidle with the pass. It's got to mean X Factors. Uh, I think that was the rumors anyway. Let's see. If anyone doesn't know X Factors, you, can, you saw them like Madden and stuff. What would I call them? Like. There we go, X Factors. Shock and awe. There it is. Shock and awe for Austin Matthews. I'm going to be honest with you. It looks pretty nice. Like, the visuals is nice. Um, I wonder with the Frostbite engine, are we going to see a little bit new mechanics for skating and stuff? Kind of looks like it. Hitting. The hitting looks decent. Um, that's nice. There we go. We saw that one last year along the boards there. X Contortionist for Vasilevsky. <laughs> so hopefully not all goalies can do this. I'm guessing it's for, like, the superstars. So there's, like, a big difference. Because, like, at times I could play with, like, Buffalo without Jack Eichel, let's say, and, like, third or fourth line. Those guys are still scoring backdoor passes. They're still cutting across the crease, shooting top corner. So maybe X Factors, they just give you that added boost. So maybe if you have Austin Matthews at a 91, let's say, you get his X Factor. He goes up to a 92, 93 based on, on, on his ability. Or maybe, like, in-game, certain points or certain aspects of the game he is better at or much better at than others interesting um okay so so that's uh, the trailers for let's just uh, we're, we're gonna watch it again and uh we'll break it down one more time play it on the all-new xbox okay so let's uh let's, let's watch it one more time and um see if there's anything else that we see okay here we go frostbite nice yeah Skating looks all right. Couldn't update Austin Matthews skates. I'm not even talking about, you know, his stick and the, you know, Toronto blue and everything like that. I'm talking about the FT4s. Come on, guys. At least McDavid still has his, uh, his skates that he wears. Oh, those jerseys for the Islanders. Just imagine if it was the Fisherman instead of that. All right. Um... I like the X Factors. I, I see it as, as traits, basically, updated, um, improved, and I'm guessing it's going to be good for the, for the superstars. That's what it's got to be. That tip animation's nice. That's exactly what Crosby would look like. Mechanics-wise, fine. I'm just, my main thing is watching this. Is it only X Factors, or is this... Well, I guess this is just a reveal trailer, so I'm guessing that's the main thing. But I'm hoping that they've, you know, updated the AI. So, like, defensively, like, how many times has your defender just left the man in front of the net, right? You're, you're on another player, and your defender just leaves him for a backdoor pass. Or hopefully, you know, the puck can't just go through three or four people. Um, not all goalies are going to get scored against when you cut across and shoot to the glove side. Um, superstars, I'm guessing with the X Factor, yeah, they most likely go in, but not with like fourth liners and stuff like that, I don't think. Um, anything else? Let me check. What else I've heard is um, obviously you got X Factors. Um, Hut. Hut might maybe the traits will be a big thing or the X Factors will be a big thing in Hut. Um, what I'm not looking forward to is I've heard that PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X slash S, and Xbox One, they're all their own thing. So all four are their own thing. So that's, that's not good, right? Because it's already a limited market anyway. Now you're splitting it up into four. I figured, come on EA, maybe at least cross-play for PS5 and Xbox You've, they can do it in Battlefield and other games. It'd be really nice to see, especially for a smaller market like NHL. Um, like FIFA, Madden, I don't think you need that because, because they're massive. Um, you know, PS4 and Xbox One go together. PS5, Xbox Series go together. Uh, I'd, 
personally, like for offline and stuff, that doesn't matter. But I'm guessing tournaments and stuff, it's going to be a big thing. And it's looking right here that Xbox has kind of done what they they've done with MLB, even though MLB is a Sony uh, run game. But I guess they're going to be. It looks like they're the main console. So maybe those who have NHL Game Pass get it. Maybe not free, but with Game Pass, you get a deal. That'd be cool. I, I'm an Xbox player, so I'd be all for that um but i had this revealed trailer some similarities basically um it looks beautiful looks beautiful some of the mechanics look the exact same um we've seen it all before and i'm hoping and i'm praying that there are some changes definitely to the ai something to do with the gameplay hopefully be a pro mode is a little bit better. I'd really like to have like what they've done with FIFA and stuff, um, and you actually play as a certain character and work your way through. That'd be nice. And I don't mean like in last years where it was like, oh, here's three chat boxes that you can choose from. Like I want an immersive game, like single player game kind of thing. That'd be really nice. I'd like to see that. Um, and then just revamped GM mode or franchise mode. That'd be that'd be nice because it is it does get boring after a while and then as always as always uh let's get let's get gm connected back that was such a great mode bring it back you can do it i don't know if it'll come to nhl 22 i'm guessing stuff has already come out that it'll be maybe nhl 23 or nhl 38 who knows when that'll happen overall though all right frostbite engine check x factors okay you finally did it check Everything else I've kind of seen before, but it looks good. That's it for me right now. Hopefully we get some more from NHL um, developers soon. Not too bad. Not too bad. Comment down below what you think of the NHL 22 reveal trailer, what you think of the game so far, what's going to happen. Is there going to be anything new, or is it going to be just a rehash of NHL 2120, etc.? Let me know down below. Cheers. That's it for me. See you next time. Oh, also not too uh too mad about austin matthews being back on the cover looks like ea is doing that with fifa madden and all that so it makes sense money maker he's a he's a face that everyone knows and i'm a least fan so i'm fine with it but personally i would have liked seeing nate mckinnon on there anyway that's it see you next time